Welcome to Reed College into Canyon Day. Thank you all for coming, despite the wonderful liquid sunshine. I'm Jennifer Bates. I'm the Director of Public Affairs here at Reed College. Uh, Canyon Day is a biannual event on campus where Reed and Portland community members come together to care for the Reed Canyon, which is a precious uh, resource in the Johnson Creek watershed. This particular Canyon Day is a special celebration. Today we mark the completion of a major project to improve fish habitat and passage. Reed College partnered with the Bureau of Environmental Services, BES, to complete this project. The collaboration could not have happened without the support of Portland City Council, and we are honored today to have a very important member of City Council here with us. Not only because he's a commissioner in charge of BES, but because he has previously worked in the environmental engineering field and he cares deeply about the environment. I'm honored today to welcome and introduce Commissioner Dan Saltzman. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Oh, that works well. Uh, uh, as Jennifer said, I'm Dan Saltzman. I'm the commissioner in charge of the Bureau of Environmental Services. And I know a lot of people, when they think of the Bureau of Environmental Services, uh, they think of things like the big pipe project that we're working on to eliminate uh, sewage overflows into the Willamette River and the Columbia Slough. But what they don't also realize often is we have many missions, and one of our missions is to restore Portland's streams and watersheds because we know watersheds, healthy watersheds and healthy streams contribute to healthy rivers and they are what people in Portland value. We value our streams, our watersheds, our salmon, what it is that makes Portland a great natural habitat, not only for those of us who live here but for our wildlife and for our fish. And I'm really pleased to recognize the many people in the Bureau of Environmental Services partnering with Reed College to make some dramatic improvements in Crystal Springs. Not only do we have a nice green street in front of us and do we have Reed College's great work they've done on improving the meandering of the stream to make it more natural, but the Bureau of Environmental Services also contributed the money to make a fish-friendly culvert. And I'm told the first day it was completed, a steelhead was already up here scouting it out. <laughs> Scouting it out for the rest, so I'm sure many more will follow. But we all have work ahead of us, too. This is only one of many culverts between Crystal Springs and the river. So we have plans, the Bureau of Environmental Services, to replace more of these culverts, uh, man-made culverts, with fish-friendly natural culverts. But we need your help as well. We need community support uh, to come out to events like this, but also to make sure that other uh, people in government uh, we have Metro Councilor Rod Park here. He gets it. He's led the effort to enhance nature in the neighborhoods. But we have many electeds who still need to know that this is the type of thing that people put a priority on, restoring our natural fish and wildlife habitat. So I know your actions today are very important. You're doing the hard work, to, but don't forget there's a lot of hard work to be done also in our legislatures, in our city halls, county commissions, and metro chambers. So continue to be great advocates. And thank you for having me here today. Thank you, Commissioner Saltzman. The Reed College Canyon sits on 28 acres of the 116-acre campus. The college is committed to responsible stewardship of its campus environment, and we're aware that our actions and decisions impact our city, our region, and our planet. Under President Diver's tenure at the college, we've expanded the Canyon West, uh, the land upon which you stand today. We passed a sustainability statement, and we welcomed our first freshman class of students this year who can graduate with a new major in environmental studies. I'm pleased to introduce Reed College President, President Colin Diver. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank you, Dan Saltzman. Uh, I have some prepared remarks that shouldn't take very long. I feel guilty standing here under a tent. but. Um, what I'd mostly like to say is that thank you, all of you who are standing out there, um, for doing what you are doing today and helping us to restore the Reed College Canyon to something like its original condition. Uh, you are making possible uh, a magnificent uh, and long-lasting contribution to the environment of our city and to the environment of our college. We have been doing Canyon Day for 90 years of our 99 years. And it was 
until fairly recently, the canyon was overgrown and a bit of a dumping ground. And then a few visionary people got hold of the idea that we could actually restore this skin. Uh, one of our alumni, alumni um, Laurel Wilkening, who was then a board of trustees man, uh, met, a member, uh, made a contribution to a planning process. Uh, John Gray, a trustee and well-known philanthropist throughout the city of Portland, contributed to removing the old swimming pool and making it possible for us to build a fish ladder. We then um, began a serious process of figuring out how to get rid of invasive species, and the most important thing that we did was to hire our canyon czar, Zach Perry. Uh, and Zach, like the Pied Piper that he is, got hundreds and hundreds of people to follow to go pull out Himalayan blackberry and English ivy and any number of other invasive species, replace them with native vegetation. We hired um, some terrific consultants to help us figure out how to restore the canyon. Dennis O'Connor and Kendra Smith are with us here today somewhere. Thank you. Um, we um, received funding from the Jubitz Foundation and the Bullet Foundation and from the uh, uh, National Fish and Wildlife Foundation and also from the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, the Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board, OWEB, which has been a partner with us throughout this process. And I'm delighted that OWEB is represented by Wendy Hudson here today. Wendy, thank you for being here. And then as Jennifer and Dan mentioned, we worked with the city and we've worked with the city to help us to build this new culvert, which is much more fish friendly, I'm told. I haven't actually heard from the fish on this, but we have seen some evidence of this. Um, we have received assistance from Metro Council, and I'm delighted that Rod Park is here with us today as well. Um, all of this is a kind of a collaborative eff effort for the purpose of making it possible for us to bring back Crystal Springs, to bring back the fish, to bring back the blue herons that I see almost every day walking across the Blue Bridge, uh, and all the other wildlife that we can enjoy. This is a true treasure. It's a treasure for Reed College. It's a laboratory for our biology classes. It is a marvelous escape for overstressed students, faculty, staff, and presidents. Um, and it is a resource for the entire community. We're proud to be a part of it, and thank you all for contributing to making this uh, a great success. Thanks.